got a four to five inch cobbled, uh, uh, round particle, big stone here. We're gonna install around our centipede and our pump vault. That will secure that. And now we're starting the assembly of our aqua blocks. Fred, how's that going? Good, these come shipped flat on a pallet of all these panels. So we got four panels across the middle. That'll give us a support so it's structured loading, give you H20 loading okay. for a normal residential application. And that's gotta save us a lot of money shipping these in panels, right. right? If this were to be a big tank, it might be one semi with one tank on it being shipped from the manufacturer, very inefficient. Okay. So on this, we can ship a bit large quantity at once. What are these made of? It's a recycled polypropylene plastic. Okay. So 100% recycled materials. Okay, that's gotta help with lead credits. Oh, absolutely. Good. Yeah, the recycled content, and then just the fact that we're managing and reusing that stormwater will give you lead points. No offense, but it, it has that milk crate kind of look, but this is gonna withstand vehicular traffic, right? Exactly. Same idea of creating that void space, but milk crates are not structurally loading. Okay. If you were to drive over the top, you'd crush they, in. They would crush down. Yep. Okay. So these put down with appropriate cover material and geotextiles, you'll have full traffic loading right on top. And, and you said void space. Now, uh, a two to three inch stone, which is typically what we use as a permeable pavement, has about a 35, 40% void space. What, what is the void space on this? Yeah, you get about 2.2 gallons per cubic foot when using aggregate stone. This will give you closer to seven gallons per cubic foot. Wow, okay, that's so, why we're using it exactly, for rain harvesting. Exactly. Okay, let's start getting them in. So we're what's gonna use 16 of them in here, which will give us our 500 gallons. 16 of them, okay, so let's about get them in. 32 gallons per, per aqua block. Okay, I'll hand them to you. They're pretty lightweight too, as far as uh, working with them. Yeah, very easy to handle on the site. And again, if this was a large tank, we'd need an excavator here to crane that in. Okay. This is the proper orientation for these two, Pete. They need to go in this direction with a full panel being supported all the way around. If they went like this, you don't have that support, you wouldn't have that structural loading capability. Okay, so there is an so orientation there is an, to There them. is a proper okay. up and down. Good. And 17 and a half inches tall. Correct. Right, let me go grab the rest of them, thanks. Thanks, Michael. Looks good. 